everybody, Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today we're going to be making the two flap box. Really easy, really cute, and perfect for organizing little things. And if you have more than one of these, you can fit one inside of another and stack them for further organization possibilities. So all you need is a square sheet of paper preferably origami, although you can use really whatever, and uh, just as long as it's square. And without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie. So first things first, if you want the colored side to be the showing side, you would have the colored side facing down, as I have it right now. And we're going to start by folding our paper in half to make a rectangle. Just going to be doing some preliminary folds. So fold that in half, and then open, turn, and then fold it the other way in half to make a rectangle. Open it up and flip it. So now going to be folding it in half in triangles. And then open and turn and again into a triangle. Okay. Open and then flip. All right, so from here, going to fold all four corners to the center. I used to make these all the time when I was younger. I just thought they looked cool. I am, I am not organized in any way, but I just thought they looked really neat. There we go. And then one more. Okie dokie. So from here, what we need to, what we need to do is reinforce some folds. So going to fold our piece in half along this center fold. And then open it up and then fold it the opposite way. And then we're going to sort of pinch and close our piece. So pinch and close along those creases and lay our piece flat. And believe it or not, the hard part is done. <laughs> All right. Okay, so at this point, you'll notice that one of the tips is closed and the other is open. So we're going to take just this front flap here and use these two points on the sides as a guide and folding this point to the top. and then open. And actually, you know what, it's easier if you turn it like this. So I'd be folding it down and then back up. And from here, I'm going to 
insert our thumb into these pockets and then pinch and squish that down. Pinch and squish. Like so. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So we're going to fold this flap down to the very bottom. And then open that flap. And then insert your thumb into the one side and your finger into the other side. Just open these up and squish and pinch. Pretty easy and straightforward. So from here, going to bring, because now we still have four flaps technically. So bring these two together in the front and then the ones in the back together. And we are one step closer to being finished. Okay, so the next step is we're going to bring these two sides. We're just working with these top flaps here. So bring this edge and this edge to the center. And fold. And then same thing with this side to the center. Okay, so this side is almost done, but I like to do the last step of this side after we do the other side. So let's flip this over and bring this side and this side to the middle. There we go. Now for, well, the second to last step. You know, I, I, I kind of misspoke myself. So basically along this line right here, fold down this flap. Turn it over and then fold along this line, the second flap. Now, if you want to have a whole bunch of these pre-made, don't open them up just yet. You can just store them ready to go like this. But then when you want to open them, all you do is grab your two flaps and pull them a little bit. Not too hard. You don't want to tear your piece. I mean, it's not really going anywhere, but you, you understand what I mean. It is paper. And so pulling them apart a little bit, and you can see in the bottom... That is what we're going to be creating the bottom of the box. So inserting your fingers, just going to open up the bottom of the box. And there you go. And it is a little bit rounded at the bottom, which I personally do not mind. However, what you could do is sort of go in and pinch that edge to make it a little bit more crisp. Honestly, I think it's just fine and dandy the way it is. And there you go, a cute little box for decorative purposes, organizing, what have you. I like them. You know, they're really cute. And as you can see, they're pretty easy to make. So if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below because you know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. Subscribe for more because whether I'm posting origami or cooking, audiobook narrations, and of course, crocheting and knitting, I'm always busy posting new things for you guys. So hit that subscribe button.
And until next time, you know what to do, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.